Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on directrix and basically finding a parabola. Parabola has two family of curves. One of them look like this, or one of them look like this. That's including the ones like this and including the ones that's like that. Okay. The trick with those curves, you gotta remember that curve lies on linear terms. Okay, what I mean by this one is, this one is equal to y equal to x squared. So the curve is on the y direction, as you can see. Then for this one, you will have, it's on the x term, so it's going to be x is equal to y squared. Okay, so our curve is going to be in this category. That's the first thing. Okay. Second thing, let's take a look at what's happening over here. We're given two points and a line. If this is the y-axis, this is minus 5. So the line is x equal to minus 5. Okay. And 0, 5 is the focus, the focal point. And then we're given a curve such that every point on this curve has got coordinate of x, y. And this point is 5, 0. The distance to this point, let's call it a D, is the same as distance from here, from the curve, D2. Okay, so D1 is equal to D2. D1, using the distance formula, it's the difference between x, which is x minus 5 squared plus y minus 0 squared. Okay. D2, this one is 5 units, and this one is x units. So d2 is equal to 5 plus x. Okay. We were given that the collection of p, every single point on this curve, has a property that's d1 equal to d2. So let's set it up. d1 equal to d2. Then we have 5 minus x squared plus y squared is equal to 5 plus x squared. So basically, I squared on both sides. Okay. Then from here, we say y squared is equal to 5 plus x squared minus 5 minus x squared. Difference of square here. So we have 5 plus x minus 5 plus x. That's first term. And then we'll have 5 plus x plus 5 minus x. So all I did is this, a plus b times a minus b, that's equal to a squared minus b squared. Okay, so all I did it instead of opening it up, I used the different square here. So then I have y squared is equal to 2x times, this cancels out, this is 10. So y squared equal to 20x. Okay, now we were expected to put into y squared equal to 4ax, so let's figure out what a equal to 20x. So from here, I see that a is equal to 20 divided by 4, or a equal to 5. So a equal to 5. So this family of curve, for this particular one, it's equal to y squared is equal to 4 times 5 times x. That's our final answer. So a is equal to 5. And the curve it lies on x-axis and it's pointing to the right. Well, hope this has been helpful to you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join me, together we can conquer math. Till next time, have a confident day.